Hey everyone, welcome back to A Slice of Gaming. I am the only Python 4. This is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance for the Game Boy Advance, and this game is brought to you by GameNew1.com. Malay here, Misty Alloy was cleared. We get a Yoichi bow, and he learns soil evidence. This good. Hey, new units! Um, no. Go home to your mother. Okay, what the hell has been going on? I've been like... I haven't played this game in a while. Although it may not look like it. And we actually have no missions going on right now. That's kind of different. Usually there's always something going on in Clan Naked. Okay, let's equip a brand new item here. What can you learn next? Absolutely nothing. That's fantastic. We'll just give you this light flame rod just because why not. And let's go to the pub and get some missions going, shall we? Any new rumors? No. No, of course not. And let's see what's going on. Who's break? I don't have that tail, do I? Nope. Don't have that. Don't have that. I need two of those. I don't have probably any of these things, except... Yeah, I don't have an alchemist. I can do that one again if I wanted to. Ooh, this I can do. It's a dispatch mission. We will send... You. Yes. Cotton Guard. It's the season when typhoons come blowing from the south again. I need to find a way to protect my cotton crop. Kearney, townsperson. So we get some magic cotton, and she's only going to be gone for one battle. So you might as well take this and go to Golden Clock. Someone has been selling my phony... Some... Ugh. Someone has been selling phony copies of Golden Sand Clock to him. In Jirha Sands area. Please investigate. Sure. Why not? I suppose we can. And you know what? I'm just going to take the wormhole just because why not? I've got enough people to go around, so... He's only going to be done in 10 days. And plus, it makes things easier for me just in case I need that item. So where the hell is that sand area? Oh, it's right here. Convenience! Golden clock. Shara! Wait, I know you. You're Shara. Where's Ritz? Right behind you. Long time no see. You seem to be doing well. Hi, Ritz. You um, know about the bounty on my head, right? Don't worry. I'm not in a clan for the money. And I certainly wouldn't turn in a friend for some gill. Us meeting wasn't an accident. We're not after your bounty. We're here on some other business. Stop hiding and come on out. We know you're the no-good swindling clock forgers. They probably think they can try you in for a pardon. Get that bounty. Do with the others as you see fit. Hey, that's not very nice. He says they're going to deal with us, Ritz. We'll see who's fit to deal with whom. Okie dokie, let's see. What do we got here? Katanas and gunmanship. Damn. What What the hell is Mart? Let me just check this out. What, what are you, buddy? Are you a ninja or a thief? I really can't rem Oh, God, you're useless. Fantastic. Well, that's why we have law cards, I guess. What What's recommended? I summoned. Of course, my summoner's gone. Okay, okay, let's see. We might as well send out... Leona. Our fighter. Might as well send out... Um, Rickman, our new man on the team. And let's send in her as well. Yes, let's go. Defeat all enemies. And Marsh is going to do absolutely nothing. Fantastic. Okay, let's take a quick look at the battlefield here. And Morningstar. Yeah, he's an alchemist. I think we might have seen him before. I can't really remember. This guy's completely new, though. He is called a gadgeteer. 
Basically what he can do is called Pandora. This is completely random. Work size hates, but who will it hit? Basically it can either affect all of the enemies or it can affect all of us. It's entirely random. The class is actually kind of crap. I really don't like it. So let's get ourselves started here by attacking Mr. Man at the very top. Hello, Mr. Man. You are going to be going to sleep now. Good night, Mr. Birthday Hat Man. I don't know why time mages have to wear a birthday hat. It looks absolutely ridiculous. Shada, you're next. You're going to attack the guy I just put to sleep. Oh, you wanker. Bitch. My plan was to keep him asleep for as long as possible, but no, she just had to ruin everything. Whatevs. Is this Prince Mute who, after you, really are mute? Yeah, I think so. He's not too happy about me being here. Well, if we know that our wimpy mute is a prince here, then we can be pretty sure who's changed Ivalence. Mute doesn't like the other world. He's happy here. And I'm his enemy since I want to go back home. So you know this is Mute's dream world. And you still want to destroy it? I have thought this world was better for you too. Better for me? How? People don't pick on you here or call you New Kid, do they? Wouldn't you like to change things if you had the chance? Your brother, for instance? You know, I haven't seen him in a while. What, what, where the hell is he? I'm sure we'll come across him soon. Hopefully he's not much of a dick like Mute is. And why are you suddenly an Elementus, Mute? Or Mute, whatever the hell your name is. Chick with red, pink hair. Mute, Ritz, they both have crazy hair. That's something I haven't mentioned at all, and I wanted to mention it at a perfect moment. Because Mute's new hair is shaped like devil horns, and it's absolutely crazy, and I hate it. Every time I see it, I want to cut off his head. Not his head, but, you know, his hair. His head works, too. I suppose I shouldn't be that mean to him. I mean, that's probably why he created this dream world. Because people like me, haha, <laughs> I'm so horrible. Ritz, are you sure you don't want to go home? Ask me a thousand times, and my answer will still be no. Why? I just don't understand. What is there not under to understand? Why do you want to stay here so much? I can understand why Mute would want to, I guess, but you? That That's none of your beeswax, Marsh. Who says beeswax, anyways? Nobody says beeswax anymore. Oh, well. Wait, why, why, why am I stealing? I don't need to do this. Woodville! Let's cause some damage and immobilization. Suddenly vines! Damn it, it missed. Suddenly vines, you're not supposed to miss. Alright, what kind of stupid time magic are you gonna do? Hey, Demi, that's fun. See, Shara, this is what happens when you ruin my plans. People get hurt. Damn it, Shara. I blame you for this whole thing. Rickman, finally you can do and you can do absolutely nothing. Hooray! Arthur, what are you going to do? Please don't make... Oh god, I just realized something. If somebody attacked Marsh right now and he attacks back with his cantana, he'll get a law card. I'm going to keep him as far back as I possibly can. Hey, that was fantastic. I just remembered that and how wonderfully pleasant that is to have you get screwed over like that. Hey, look here. I knew I brought you in for a reason. Heal up. There we go. A little bit helps. Alright, you. Or you. Let's go after... Actually, this guy's more annoying. And 
back of the face. Lies, Leona, lies. Now Shara's gonna get the kill, because she's a bitch. I'm sure I'm gonna get all the kills. Ooh, ooh. Of course she's gonna hit, and she's gonna be like, I'm gonna take all the credit for this, because I got the last hit. Because I'm a bitch. Yeah. Alright, Ritz, do something crazy and fun. Like, go after that Joker! Juggler! Who looks like a Joker? They should have just called his class Joker. I would have accepted it. Ouch! Way to immobilize the whole team. And he's going to hurl something amazing. If you have a red mage ability called catch, you can actually catch the item that he just threw. Most of the time, they never use that ability, so I recommend not getting it at all. Okie dokie, let's go after this guy up here, because uh, Marsh will be far enough away from him. No, I didn't want to go there. Even though I went there twice. Marsh will be far enough away, plus he can't do anything to counterattack. Fire Veil! Suddenly, Fire Ninjutsu! In your face! Quicken! Quickening basically is that he gets to go right away regardless of when he was actually supposed to go. Which I guess is kind of handy. I mean, he can do like a last sort of thing to somebody. Like use Demi on me! Thank you! Time age with the birthday hat, you're going down first. Choop, 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 choop. That's the sound it makes. It's an accurate translation. Are you going to do something exciting with your gadgeteer thing? Oh, here we go. Let's see who it hits. I think the sun is us. I really don't know. Yep. Thank you for a free haste. Yet numb nuts. He's probably like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Ha ha ha. Derp. What spellblade do you have, Rush? What does this do again? I feel like I'm a noob at this game. I haven't touched it in a while. Oh. Damage MP. Lucky little bitch. Alright, since uh, pretty much Rickman just blocked the way for everybody. I'm going to go for this guy here because I don't like him anymore. Thunderbolt, your birthday hat. Ugh. There you go. Thank you. And I wonder if I can attack all the way up here. Can I? Can I? No. Damn it, Rickman, why do you have to be in the way? Um, no, that's not going to do anything. Um, yeah, I can't do anything right now, so I'm just gonna have to wait. Shara, do something useful. Attack the gadgeteer and get him out of the way. Or do nothing. That works too. Bitch. Oh, this guy's almost done. I think Heavy Dust is the only thing she has. And he's almost finished! Okay, hurry up and move. I have no patience today. Alright, since this guy's been weakened, let's take this opportunity to finish him off with a weak ninjutsu, if we can. If not, then that's fine too. Yeah, no, we won't be able to. But we can at least blind him. I think this is a new veil that I have yet to show off. Suddenly metal shards in your face. Yay, Marsh leveled up. Please don't attack me. Okay, thanks. Okay, and I think a little bit of fire should be able to finish him off. If I am lucky, that is. Guess we'll find out. Yep. And I was able to do some damage on the Gadgeteer, which is nice. Okay, can Rickman get out of the way now? Guess we'll find out his next turn. Um, I might as well try and attack him first. And then we'll kind of get out of the way. Yay, I'm so lucky today. 
Okay, get out of the way, you. There you go. Now it's your turn! I like taking turns. Taking turns is fun. Kill him! Yes! That's my girl. Ritz, thank you. Don't thank me. I wasn't trying to help you. What a bitch. Just for that, I'm gonna call you mute the whole game on purpose now. Well, I hope you two don't get into trouble for helping me. I wouldn't want bounties on your heads, too. Well, if they come looking for us, we'll just have to turn you in. Yes, I think that's what we'd probably do. Um, I guess I should be leaving. Good luck, Marsh. I might just join sides with Mute, you know. Then we'd be enemies, got it? You know, Ritz, I think Marsh is worried about you. Why not help him? You're no friend of the palace. Why the sudden concern, Shara? If what he says is true, his family's in the other world. And so is yours, Ritz. You don't want to see them or your friends again? I do. But here I've got something I don't want to lose. It's my hair. This no normal, non-white hair. Hair? Non-white? What do you mean? In the other world, in reality, my hair is pure white. I was born that way. I had to dye it every morning. Before I learned how, my mom would do it for me. And that I couldn't stand. She was always so sad. She looked like she would cry every time she took out the dye. Ritz. I'd rather be called Whitey Locks than see her face. What did she have to cry about? Her hair was normal. I was the one who should have been crying, not her. I can find family and friends here, but I'd never be able to change things in that world. I'm sure that's how Mute feels, too. Wow. There's his hairstyle. Isn't it awesome? Why can't you find him? Why? Well, he's probably trying very hard not to be found. I don't care, Papa. Get him now. You're the strongest judge in Ivalence. I'm doing all I can. We're going to search in every town next. Hurry or the world will break and then I... Your Highness, please calm down. Master Sid will surely find him. Mama, where's Mama? I shall summon her for you, just a moment. Mama, where are you? Marsh is being mean to me, Mama. Make him stop. Help! Golden clock went well. Now for the next one. We get a four rod. Hooray! Some bonuses, ahoy! And yeah, we don't need this. Goodbye. Muscadet. This is the next town. I believe this is a Vera town. I'm going to put you right over here. Next to absolutely nothing. Diana here, cotton guard, was ever too quick. Quite, Diana. Quite. Cool. Hey, more crap. New unit. Koopa. No, thank you. I don't want to hang with you, Mr. Cooper. That was a bad joke. But anyways, I'm going to call things a wrap here, so I'll catch you guys later.